Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. Today we will be doing the end of year flip for my Louis Vuitton large ring or GM agenda. So I apologize if the lighting is different. Um, it's raining so I have my like white light on and I hope it looks okay on camera so I just want to make sure that everything looks good for y'all. But I'm really excited to share this with you guys and to set everything up for the new year. So I think that's what I'm really looking forward to. It's kind of like a fresh start in my planner and I want to add more to this planner. So this is my main agenda and all of my plans always come in here. So I have my schedule, my academic inserts and my finance inserts, but I plan on adding a lot more to this planner um, in the 2023 setup, which will be up soon. So let's go over everything this year and how everything worked. So first section is my schedule section. And so I have my 2022 dashboard in here. And I love just having this as a reference. And then we move on to the next top tab. So I have these four top tabs and it's broken down into yearly, quarterly, monthly, and weekly. And so the quarterly section, I've gone back and forth with the quarterly. I've talked about it before. I just use it and then I don't use it. And I take it out the months that I don't use it. And I'm just going to keep these inserts in here. And that way I have consistency. So right now this is just housing my 2023 inserts, as you can see, like some of the principal ones that I have, but I will be incorporating that back into my planner system in the upcoming year. The next tab is the monthly inserts. So we have these month on one page, infinite Lotus inserts. I absolutely love these. These are where all of the plans first come in and where I just get a full view of what's going on throughout the year. If I know something's going to happen in December, I can in February or March, just throw it in. And so I don't have to worry about like all the detailed planning and the weekly areas or even my weekly schedule. So that's my favorite part about this planner. And then I just love how compact it is with that month on one page. So we'll continue to do something similar in the new year, but this is what the inserts look like. And then we move on to the weekly agenda. So we have these weekly overview inserts that I've been using for years. These are a staple. Um, this is where I break down everything going on in the monthly. I put in any appointments, anything like date wise that we are doing as well as any important things that are going on that I might need to do. And then the list of tasks that I need to do throughout the week. And then that is the schedule section. From there we have the academic section and I have this custom dashboard from Infinite Lotus. I don't think I've mentioned it yet. I will have everything linked below as well as my discount codes to Infinite Lotus and Rosie Papa 3, which is where all of my inserts come from. And I have these inserts that I absolutely love from Infinite Lotus. I've gone back and forth with academic and finance inserts, and I finally found a set of academic inserts that I love. So these are just a regular monthly insert, and I love how it's Monday through Friday on one page, Saturday and Sunday on the other, and then you have this wide priorities and to-do list. And so this has just been my favorite inserts for school so much that I actually purchased the dated version for 2023 so I'll be using this um, indefinitely and I had a haul video where I talked about what I purchased and I'm still looking forward to using them because they're just you can use them in so many different ways so I feel like it does a great job of providing structure as well as just providing flexibility to switch it up based on each class that I'm in so we have that and then we have my finance section. So this is something that's changed just so much throughout the years. I've tried so many different methods and I think it's also because my finances change as well. And so with that, I try and change things. So currently we have this bills tracker that I use to check off my um, bills that are due once I paid them. I'm behind. I haven't used this and that's why I'll actually probably be removing it. But I just like being able to check off bills. And so right now I have the tracker with mixed with this month on one page overview, which I've been loving, but I kind of want to try something different in the new year. And so I have something that I actually printed off and I will be able to 
um, share that in the setup video, but I want to try something a little different and we'll see how that works, but this is what I've used since August, so for a good bit, but I just want to have that check mark availability on this sheet as well and have it there naturally as opposed to like just writing it in, so I'm going to try something different. And then I also have a budget planner section in the outbox. I have this inbox which has all the bills that I put in, and then the outbox which is my budget which is how I break down where the money's going out, so that is the current setup and that is going to be it for this video if y'all have any questions please feel free to let me know and thank you guys so much for watching